Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to enable your 4G Huawei LTE stick USB dongle in your Linux enabled PC. So first of all you need to check what's the USB identifier of the devices. So in my case I'm using a Huawei E3272 device, uh, some cheap one. I'm trying to connect. On the second window you will see an output of the syslog currently collected in the net in the in the PC. I'm trying to connect to this one. It will take a couple of seconds until something shows up for this device. Okay, so hold on. Okay, so you can see that something was discovered. Vendor ID 20D1, ID product 1506. Oh, please report the device ID to the Linux USB developers. So, as you can see, it was basically not really detected by the system. Okay, let's see what LSUSB is showing. Okay, we have we have something detected, but it's not the correct name. <laughs> it's E398. Okay, we are going to use USB mode switch command to send some, I would say, magic numbers to this device to configure it properly. So this USB mode switch should be should be downloaded and compiled on your PC. Basically, if you're using some kind of modern Linux, it is already here. If not, you need to download this and compile it. Okay, let's get back to this. So it's not really detected. So I'm disconnecting it right now. You need to prepare You need to prepare a script for the mode switch, which will send some magic numbers to the device. I have already done so. In my case, it's basically uh, changing the vendor product ID and sending some magic numbers to the device, which look like this. So it was basically copied from the other Huawei modem. It was uh, E3276, which was basically properly discovered by the system. Uh, okay, right now I have copied the correct file to the etc USB mode switch D directory, and now I'm trying to connect once again this USB dongle. Let's wait another couple of seconds. It should be discovered by now. Okay, so I presume these magic numbers were already sent to the device and we can proceed with other configuration. So the other thing that we'll be doing is we'll be using WV dial to to proceed with the configuration script of the modem to select band and to select APN name to interconnect with your mobile network provider. To use WV dial you need to first install it on your PC. So after doing this Need to configure appropriate script. Oh, I'm not using the admin rights, so right now with the admin rights. Okay, the script looks like follows. So first, Dynamo the script, which will be using, which will be used when uh, trying to invoke the command WDL. Then the virtual port number which will be used the phone number it's exactly still the same for all of the modems and uh, 
mobile phones username and password in my case it's not the problem because it's not checked by the network so first init command is atz which basically restarts the modem then if you're using a sim card which needs to have a pin you entered you need to enter a pin here in other cases you just hash this with the with the number sign and then the init free command in my case it's selecting the bands it's uh, selecting a proper order of band selection by the modem other comments is that i need to see what was selected by the modem this command shows me the technology and the band which was selected for the connection and then init 5 is basically some action of the apn in my case it's the, that's the apn name internet and the last thing is that we agree on the DNS IPs that were sent by the network towards the modem and our PC. You can prepare as many scripts for the dials, as many APNs you use or technologies you use. You may, for example, enable 3G only. So for the 3G only, in my case, that was the command to select 3G only. For the Huawei, E3276 and E3272. Other things they do not change unless you want to enable different pin. Okay, and so we go. Let's invoke the double dial with the correct APN name and the script name. Okay, and let's go. Okay, as you can see pin was sent to the device, configuration command was sent to the device, and we wait. We wait until the modem catches the network on the proper band. Let's wait. should work in a couple of seconds. Okay. So the connection was successful and we got an IP from the network, we got an DNS IP address and let's leave this window open because if you close it then just simply connections will be shut down. Okay, let's see, what do we have? Yeah, about the WV dial. You have a plenty of tutorials for this software. Uh, basically, it should work on every Linux enabled PC. Let's see, I'm in point, as you can see. Let's select something to speed test. I'm getting 100% uh, of CPU, so it may affect on the throughput I'm getting. As you can see we are connected over LTE, so the pink is small and the throughputs are higher than for the other HSPA. The other thing is that it should be visible. Ah, it's not visible, but it should be visible somewhere here. If it's already connected, this command should will will display the technology that was used for the connection. Okay. Let's ping the Google. So the WV dial is basically invokes the PPP daemon with the script and it talks to the network provider with the commands, with the modern commands that uh, select APN, technology and other things that you need to have a proper connection to the internet. Okay, thank you very much. That's basically all for today and see you again.